What's up guys, it's Ruhi here from Just Stuff back with another video. So today I'm going to take a quick look at the $10 smartwatch. Yes guys, you heard it correctly. It is only $10. So, for $10, can you really expect anything from a smartwatch? You all will say no. But it's a complete different story here. When it comes to this watch, from the build quality, to the design, to the internals, it got something much more than we expected. Even at the first glance, I didn't expect this much from this device. So talking about the device, the device is entirely built with plastic and the strap looks to be designed with rubber and the specialty about the watch is it is a standalone watch so it got a removable bag and the removable bag gives the access to a removable battery and underneath the battery you are going to find a slot for your SD card and a micro sim I think this SD card is going to support up to 16 GB and the sim is carrier unlocked so you can use any sim so it got a 1.5 inch uh, color LCD display in the front and in the front of the device you got a camera it claims to be 2 megapixel uh, but I don't think it's a 2 megapixel and it got the microphone right next to it so in the side of the watch you got a micro USB 2 charging port for charging and finally it got a home button in the front for some of its functions. So the build quality. Talking about the build quality, the plastic and rubber combined construction is not that good but for the price you can't really complain about the quality and it still feels some good in your hand. You can make calls from the watch via the integrated SIM or a Bluetooth connected smartphone and also you can view your contacts, notifications and all the other stuff even without taking your phone out. And like most of the competition it got pedometer integrated to the device but for some reason I couldn't get it to work. I don't know whether it's a fault with my device or it's a fault with all the other smartwatches like this. So guys, as I mentioned earlier, it got a camera built into the watch uh, in addition to the remote capture option. So to be honest, the camera is really not good. The photos out of it are just crap. You can't use it for anything. So because you have a SD card in the device, you can load music into it and you can play back them in the watch. And also you can play music via the Bluetooth connection. And guys, there's nothing wrong about the speakers, uh, they sound pretty well, I think it's because it's not got any waterproofing. So to recap, it got a decent build quality, a fair amount of options and most importantly, it costs only up 10 bucks. So if you really need a smartwatch and you are in a really tight budget, then you can go for it. It's not a bad choice. And that's all for today's video guys, so hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll be back with another video.